Hi, welcome to Cosmic Tides. We're checking how the currents are pulling us for Capricorn beginning of December to mid-December. So we had a mishap because it's my first video. Of course, something's going to go wrong. It's Mercury retrograde, right? <laughs> so um, basically, um, I pulled your main cards. I'm just getting clarifiers. I didn't try to read them yet, so you guys really didn't miss anything. Um... So yeah, so my angels, my protectors, let me get um, a clarifier card for the Ten of Fire for Capricorn. Oh, we got two. So we have the King of Fire and the High Priestess, okay. And then let me get a please, um, a clarifier for the Six of Air. Oh, thank you. And let me get one more clarifier for the Queen of Air, please. For Capricorn, uh, beginning of December uh, to mid-December, let me get a clarifier card for the Queen of Air. you guys hear any other voices it's my mom downstairs Get a clarifier card for that Queen of Air, please. Beautiful. That's really nice to end on, actually. Okay. So, the first card that came out was Renewal. Um, review. Oh, yeah. Sorry, just in case you guys want to know what deck I'm using, it's the Angel Deck by Radley Valentine. Really love this one. Okay, so we got Renewal, Review and Evaluate a Favorable Assessment, um, a Favorable Assessment of the Facts, Time to Move in a New Direction, and it's clarified by the page of earth and the eight of earth which is good news about financial matters wanting to do something more challenging a new area of study skilled work is rewarded learning all there is to know about a topic going back to school so i see if this is about career or something it's almost like you are going back or you're looking at something that you used to like to do and um yeah, it's something that you used to like to do, um, and you, but you're trying to move in a new direction with it, possibly. So that's why um, skilled work is rewarded, going back to school, learning all there is to know about the topic. So whatever you put down in the past, um, and you're thinking about taking it back up, learn all that you need to know about it. Because... Um, there's good news about financial matters um, if you do this, if you do this, whatever you're going back to, if you do that, it, you're going to be lucky in it this time. Uh, it's like um, whatever you were currently doing, like it's just not doing it for you anymore and you want to do something more, just more challenging, something more um, that you know you like to do, which is whatever that previous thing that you gave up because maybe you felt like you weren't gonna um gonna be good at whatever it was or maybe you felt like you didn't have a future in it but I don't see that because you're really the star um so happy times make positive optimistic long-term plans on the right path yeah you're on the right path going back to whatever um whatever this thing is that you refound your love for doing Whatever that was, um, if you make long-term plans about it, it's going to be really 
really rewarding because you are on the right path. Um, then we have like clarifying the Knight of Water and King of Water. So falling in love, wedding proposals, the need to balance emotions, invitation to a social event, opening your heart and mind to those around you, trustworthy and heartfelt advice, charity work. So I see that whatever um, you're going back to, it brings you a lot of um, enjoyment. It brings you like real happiness makes you feel fulfilled and um, really does balance you out um, because you're doing something that you truly love and um, <clears throat> if you're maybe a little self-conscious about it because I see this guy's kind of being a little closed off like there's no reason to be subconscious about it because um, everyone around you supports you even if they don't maybe even if they're a little bit more reserved they do very much support you um, and also like open yourself up to your plans maybe they could help you in some way excuse me um, yeah that's what I think I think um, going back to something that you used to love finding a new love for it maybe um, just relearning all there is to know about the topic because you're very lucky if you make long-term plans in it. And it's going to make you very emotionally balanced. And um, and like I said, you have um, people around you that are willing to, you know, they're willing to help you. They're willing to support you. They believe in you. And then you have the six of earth. Yeah, see, so gifts of money, time, or effort, new career opportunities, receiving a loan, or paying off debts. Yeah, this is very, very good. Whatever you're going back to is very, very good for you. I see some of you are in, like, the creative field. I feel like it's uh, music. Music or something with your hands. Or something... Just something creative. Something very creative that you guys like doing. Um, it's Whatever it is, it's going to bring you guys a lot of money. Um, and if you need a loan to start, maybe it's a business idea that you're going back to, um, you will receive a loan for sure. Yeah. And if not, you will find a way to pick up the money yourself, maybe Kickstarter or something, and it's just going to take off, and you're going to be able to pay off your debts. And then, like, clarifying, we have the five of air. Learn what you can from the situation. Review everyone's motive. So, like, maybe... Hmm, not sure. Let me get another clarifier card. Let me get another clarifier card for this six of earth, please. Because even though it says that you're going to get, um... Even though it says you're going to get a loan, or whatever. Yeah, no, you're totally... I'm going to get another card for the Six of Earth before I say anything else. I don't want to sound like a doofus. Alright. A celebration, no. I know what it is. I, I get it now. Okay. So, um, yeah, you want to get this, um, get this on the road and stuff, but, um, the five of air is showing itself because you're doubting yourself, or people are telling you it's an unwise choice, an unwise choice. I kind of see all these horses kind of, like, conspiring to, like, bring you down, and you just kind of go in your own direction. Don't listen to them. Don't listen to those horses. Don't listen to them horses. Because you got a celebration, a wedding, graduation, or birth announcement. They need to have more fun. That's what I see. So, um, if you just don't listen to the doubts and you go for what your dream is, whatever you, whatever it is that you want, it's going to happen for you for sure. And you know what? You know what I'm also seeing now? I'm seeing, um, this could also be about a relationship. 
So you want to start a relationship with somebody that you used to have a relationship with in the past or someone that you used to like in the past. Apply it however it fits. Um, and yeah, it's kind of like working out for you. And I think this person's an Aquarius. Ooh. Yeah, I think this person's the Aquarius. Dang it. I'm like a little OCD. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I think this is an Aquarius. And um you're falling in love. And it's creating some um balance, emotional balance. It's like you have something back that you've been wanting for a while. And it's safe to open up your heart because um, your friends do have trustworthy and heartfelt advice for you. I do see you working out with this person even though I see there's people around you that are telling you that it's not going to work out for you. Because they don't want you guys to go back at it again or they could honestly just be haters. Because these horses, like, they look sick to me in this picture. Like, they look like just, like, haters. I don't know. They look sick and we don't need that. Because um, you are going to have this wonderful, wonderful celebration. Um, you're going to have fun with this person. You need to have more fun with this person. So then, boom. Oh, I, this got kind of crazy over here. What happened? Okay. Alright, yeah, that's what happened. Okay. Alright, so then we got, um, I'm sorry guys, by my next, by next month I should have everything situated better. Like I said, this is my first video, I'm still kind of figuring this out. <laughs> Please bear with me, it will get better, I promise. So anyway, we have the Queen of Earth. We have the Queen of Earth, making time for those around you, taking a sensible approach, deal with challenges in a kind, understanding manner. And oh wait, hold on, I skipped something, didn't I? Oh yeah. All right, no. Oh, okay, I get it. Like I said, work progress. We got this though. Okay, so for of it, I skipped it. So yeah, you're uh, being too frivolous, too cautious with money, good business decisions, giving those to us fortunate. So yeah, this is working both ways. So you're being too cautious with that new relationship or that you're going back to, you know what I mean? With the old thing. Um, yeah, you're being too cautious with that. And you're also being too cautious with your new business idea, the one that you're going back to as well. It's, it's working out. Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision. Be a leader. Advice from someone creative. I knew y'all was doing something creative, but yeah. The King of Fire and the Queen of Earth is representing this. So make time for those around you. Make a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. Also, at the same time, this is you and um, that Aquarius maybe can be a Earth sign somewhere in their chart, I want to say. Um, unless it is earth sign as well, but either way, you know, this, these can both also be you if it's just about business at the same time. So if it's just about business, then you, um, you're the king of fire and the queen of earth. So focus, 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 communicate with vision, um, take advice for someone creative and make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach, deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner, you know, um, yeah this is also i'm also seeing this clarified in a way that it's like <sighs> it's like um if you're doing the business idea right you're being too cautious but really you just got to put all your time and focus and be determined and um deal with the challenges that come your way in a uh in a, a tactful way, you know what I mean? Um, smooth, like, don't let it really bother you. Breathe. Um, 
breathe, you know, take it easy. Because it's going to work out. But at the same time, if this is the relationship, then you need to focus on, on that girl or boy. Uh, whoever you're dealing with. Got to focus on them. Um, and make time for them. And um, I also feel like she comes off as maybe thoughtful, warm, and creative. And you're being the ambitious, motivational, charismatic person right now. So that might really be a power couple type of vibe going on if you guys, uh, if you guys stop being too cautious. <laughs> it's gonna work out. It's gonna work out. So then we have six of air. Which is clarified by the Ten of Fire. So yeah, things are looking up. It's the end of a difficult situation. You're taking a trip. And it's clarified by the Ten of Fire. Too much work, except help from others. Life is out of balance. Stress-related health concerns. Yeah. Basically, if you stop being cautious and stuff, and believe in yourself, take the leap, things are going to look up. It's going to be the end of a diff uh, difficult situation, you know? Um... Maybe you're going to take a trip with this girl if it, or boy if it works out. Uh, yeah, things are so going to work out for you. Even though it says too much work help, except help from others. It's just going to work out so well and you're just going to kind of... I just feel overwhelmed. Like I'm overwhelming myself with everything that I got to do because I don't want to ask anyone else to help me. Even though, like, you can. You're surrounded by people that are your rocks. They're, they want to help you out. They believe in you. Not those horses over there because they're jealous. But you do have um, an elite few that really do have your back no matter what. And that's very special. Keep them around because um, just ask them. Ask them for help. It'll be alright. You don't want to get too stressed out. Um, then everything's going to get out of balance. It's not going to be fun. You might um, not have enough time for your partner because you're letting things get out of balance. Um, you could even ask them to help, you know, involve them. Do something like that um, to that effect. Because it will work out. This is more like a mental thing, I feel like. It's mental. You're just letting yourself kind of get overwhelmed with things because yeah seven of water a complex decision the need to do research stop procrastinating um but i feel like this is really in your head because it's clarified by the high priestess listen to your intuition have patience consider carefully what you want before acting so um whatever you're gonna be deciding on whatever decision you have to make I feel like you have multiple decisions to make. I feel like one's about finances, one's about a relationship, and I feel like one is literally about, like, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> That's what I feel like. You're kind of like, all right, I'm ready to... I feel like I'm ready for something, but I'm not ready... But I don't know what I'm ready for exactly, but, like, that's the vibe I'm getting from you guys. But if you listen to your intuition and have patience... um. And consider carefully what you really, really want before acting. It'll work out. I promise it'll work out. The last two cards are really good. It'll work out. So you have the Queen of Air. So you're still kind of stuck on this decision making. So it's objective decision making. Clearing away all that no longer serves you. Seeing the humor in a situation. Yeah, it's funny. Because you're like watching, like you know the decision you got to make and you're still like pondering. You're still thinking about it, wondering. And um, it's like you'll think about it and you'll be like, okay, I'm going to do this. And then you kind of think about it again. You're like, wait, do I really want to do that? And then you think about it again. You're like, yeah, I do want to do this. And it's like back and forth, like you know what decision you're going to make, but you keep like double, like, you know, you keep second guessing yourself, so it's not 
like coming through because or it's stalling longer because you keep you keep overthinking it really because you're the sun you have a happy outcome brilliant new ideas that lead to success have confidence in yourself like <laughs> i say this a lot to my friends um bad always comes from the good and good always comes from the bad right so this whole situation I see as, I'm not going to say that your decision's necessarily bad, but it's probably going to put you through uncomfortable feelings, and at the end of the day, it's really worth it because it was slowly building your strength, you know what I mean? It was slowly building your confidence, slowly building you up to be ready for this sun moment, you know? Like, it was not all for nothing. Whether this is the relationship or finance or just dealing with yourself, Capricorn, like you are the sun. I think that's why I'm going to title this because it's beautiful. You guys are going to have a good December, um, gang of December uh, to mid-December. And um, I can't wait to check back with you guys and do the rest of December for you guys. I hope... um. Hope the rest of this month is good. I hope the start of December is good. It looks really good. It looks exciting. So, um, thanks guys. Uh, hopefully you'll stick around with me to see me get better at making these videos. <laughs> Alright. Be safe. Bye-bye.